When you're looking for a high lumen, high candela weapon light or a handheld light, chances are eventually you're going to come across Cloud Defensive. Cloud Defensive changed the game when they dropped the OWL, the optimized weapon light. And since the introduction of that beast of a light, they have continued to push the limits of what white lights can achieve. In this video, we're gonna be discussing one of my favorite handheld lights, the Cloud Defensive Mission Configurable Handheld, or MCH for short. Let's discuss this potent pocket white light. For nearly a decade, a handheld flashlight of some flavor has graced my pockets with its presence. What really got me into handheld lights was my constant tinkering on all my vehicles. And it started out with Streamlight's pen lights, and eventually I got into larger, more potent lights for my EDC. Earlier this year, I got my hands on the MCH with the EDS head, and it changed everything for me. And right off the bat, let's cover the specs of this little guy. The fuel source for this particular flashlight is an 18650 battery, which is gonna provide 120 minutes of runtime advertised. Cloud offers multiple different configurations and we are going to cover them briefly in this video. There's two different head options, the EDC and the HC heads. The EDC, which is the one I carry, has a lower candela but a higher lumen output. The HC head stands for high candela, but it does have a bit lower lumens than the EDC head. Now, most people have been conditioned to simply think in terms of lumens, but to me personally, I care about both lumens and candela. For example, a light like the Streamlight HLX is gonna put out around 1,000 lumens, around 27,000 candela. And if you put the HLX light directly next to the MCH, the higher candela of the MCH in both heads becomes immediately evident. Heck, stack most handheld lights against the MCH and you're gonna see a clear difference in effective beam distance from that MCH. Lumens only measure how much light is put out from that LED diode, whereas candela can help you determine how much of that usable light is actually gonna be projected downrange. And in my experience, higher candela lights, so long as they have a functional beam pattern, are going to be better at illuminating objects at longer distances. There's plenty of crazy high lumen white lights that do not have a good beam distance at all. Lumens is not the end all be all dominating specification. And in the realm of this discussion, the MCH is king. The EDC head puts down approximately 40,000 advertised candela and advertised 1400 lumens. And the HC head puts down 71,000 candela and 1100 lumens. For my personal carry, I prefer the EDC head as I feel it is a perfect balance of flood at closer distances and throw. Think of this beast as a 200 yard capable illumination lightsaber. Besides the head type, the MCH is also available in a single output or dual output. Dual features a high and low output and activation of the lights is the same on any of these different versions. On the back of the body, there's just a rubber button. You just press that button, you'll get momentary or constant with a full click. Included with the MCH are negligent discharge inserts, and these are gonna protect the light from accidentally being activated when you don't want them to. The ND guards simply screw into the back of the housing, and I'm gonna show you guys real quick what those different settings look like. So inside of the box, the light does come with this factory, kind of a spacer, it just is like a thread protector. That's how I would best describe that. Then you have a low version of the ND guards, and I actually opted to run with the high version. Now my concern was that the high version was going to actually limit my ability to run this light, but what I found is it doesn't at all. Activating that light is still just as easy, but what this does do is protect my light from accidentally being turned on when I don't want it to be turned on. So again, guys, you have the ability to run it without the ND guard, you can run it with a lower guard, or you can be like me, one of the cool kids, and run it with the higher guard. And ultimately, when it comes to the ND protector, you can choose what you want, what works for you. You can experiment with all of them. And ultimately, it's pretty neat that they're coming with three different options for you. Besides the ND protectors, the MCH also includes one 18650 battery and a charging station with a power cord. The light also includes a Theorem LPC already installed on the light, which I think is a nice finishing touch to this system. Over the last couple months, this has been my primary flashlight that has lived in my pocket every single day, no exceptions. And over that time period, I have also developed a few pros and cons that I wanted to communicate 
to you guys. And my objective with this is to hopefully help you decide if this is the right light for you. Now, when I'm considering the positives, I think the potency and the throw of the light is a top attribute. I simply do not have another compact handheld from any brand that reaches out and touches like the MCH. Bear in mind on this particular light, I'm using the EDCS head. The high candela head features even more potency if reach is your primary concern. The MCH, although far reaching, also provides a great close range flood of light. Runtime is adequate for a defensive, offensive style handheld light, and I can't complain about the runtime. I like the addition of the Theorem LCP, and I also, it's LPC, it's LPC. I'm I like the addition of the Theorem LPC, and the fit and finish of the light is fantastic like every other cloud defensive product. The interchangeability between the Rain series of light heads and the MCH is also great. Any of the generation heads are gonna be able to be transported onto the newer body style, vice versa as well. These maintenance of the cloud defensive lights should be noted as well, and the lens over the diode stands up to serious abuse. I actually got the EDCS head way too close when I was welding some products the other day, and I've got weld spatter all over the lens, but it still functions perfectly fine. There are several negatives though that exist that might affect your decision on this particular light. For one, the heat that this light puts out is pretty intense when you're running it for a long time. Now don't get me wrong, I don't think that that's necessarily a totally negative thing, and I, I think it should be expected from such a potent light, but it does get very warm, and if you plan on running this light for more than a few minutes at a time, it's gonna get extremely warm. And that's just one thing to keep in mind when you're using it. Battery life is also not great if you're looking for a work light, but then again, this was never designed to be a work light. That's not the point of the MCH. Another downside for most people is the bulk of the light because of it being an 18650 or if you get the micro, an 8, a 16350 battery. The bodies are a bit chunkier because of the battery type. Now it does fit well in your pocket, but it is going to take up quite a bit more room than some sort of stylus or pen light. Overall, the MCH is a potent light that stacks up to even dedicated weapon lights on the market. And historically, potent lumens in Candela were reserved for weapon-mounted lights. And that's no longer the case with the introduction of the MCH. And while there are more compact, lighter, smaller lights, they often are not going to stack up against the features and especially the performance packed into the MCH. And I've grown to really appreciate the performance of this light. And for that reason, we have chosen to add it to our website. If you wanna read more about this potent little pocket handheld light, click the link down in our description. It's gonna take you right over to our website. And if you have any questions at all, you can leave them down in the comments or you can feel free to email us and you can find that contact form over on our website. Any of our customer service team is going to be very happy to help you out and answer any questions you might have about this particular light. And guys, just keep in mind specifications, models, serial numbers, all that stuff on our website and pricing and availability is subject to change. And as Cloud Defensive offers new lights and different versions of their lights, we plan to update our lineup and get you guys connected with the most up-to-date lights in their offering. So guys, as always, we appreciate you. We would love if you consider supporting us over on our website. The link again is down in the description. There's lots of gear, lots of different ways that you can show us some support over there. And if it makes sense for you and you find something that you like, Supporting us allows us to continue doing the things that we are doing here on this channel. So we appreciate you. Take the time to hit that subscribe button, like, leave us a comment, and guys, we will see you in the next video.